Around the region now, a group of high school students in the Ozarks are making mental health a top priority. Caller 10's Nyjah McDonald is here to explain how. Nyjah. Well, Jen, Galena High School students spent the day learning how to recognize someone dealing with a mental health challenge and where to turn for help. I was just surprised by how many uh, people will go through like a mental health like challenge by the age of 18. And I think it was like one in five in like every 25 kids. Galena High senior Davin Stewart and his classmates are participating in a mental health first aid training. Similar to CPR, students learn a five step action plan to help their friends who may be facing a mental health problem or crisis such as suicide. You might not even know that anything's happening to them. Uh, many of them might act just like me or you, you know, happy, but they could be facing serious problems at home or serious problems just in their life in general. Stewart was one of a group of students who pushed to have the training brought to their campus. Many people in many schools don't really talk about it. That's not a concern to them. And um, there are kids that are facing this problem, and I feel like it needs to be spoken about because many people, many kids, don't think that they should come out and tell it, and then that's why they are um, committing suicide or other things. The training focuses on teen to teen intervention with the idea that teens are more likely to talk to their peers about their problems rather than an adult. A lot of students go through a lot of things in trauma when they're younger and like they don't know how to cope with that and so they do the best they can when they cope. The training also teaches about recovery and resiliency. The belief that people experiencing these challenges can and do get better and use their strengths to stay well. So, Nigel, what were students taught to do if they notice another student is struggling with any mental health issues? Well, Jen, that's a good question. Now, the students received a five step action plan. Now, this includes assess for risk or suicide or harm, listen without passing judgment, give reassurance and information, encourage appropriate professional help encourage self-help and other support strategies.